The ankle joint is made up of three bones, the tibia, the fibula, and the talus. The tibia is the major bone of the lower leg which bears the majority of the body's weight. At the ankle, the inside bump of the tibia forms the medial malleolus. The fibula is the smaller of the two bones in the lower leg. The lower end of the fibula forms the lateral malleolus. In the ankle joint, the talus articulates with the tibia. The talus is involved in multiple movements of the foot. There are ligaments in the ankle that provide connection between these bones. Injury to any one of these ligaments may occur when the foot twists, rolls, or turns beyond its normal motions. An ankle sprain is a common injury that occurs in sports such as basketball and soccer. Let's take a look at the ligaments from medial to lateral. The deltoid ligament is on the medial side. The deltoid ligament is composed of four parts. The anterior tibio-talar part, the tibio-navicular part, the tibio-calcaneal part, and the posterior tibio-talar part. The superficial deltoid arises from the anterior colliculus. The deep deltoid arises from the posterior colliculus and the intercollicular groove. The deltoid ligament is the main stabilizer of the ankle joint during the stance phase. The deltoid ligament is rarely injured by itself and is usually associated with a fracture. There are three lateral ligaments of the ankle joint. The anterior talofibular ligament. It is the weakest of the lateral ankle ligaments. Its origin is 10 millimeters proximal to the tip of the fibula, and it extends from the anterior inferior border of the fibula to the neck of the talus. The posterior talofibular ligament. It is the strongest of the lateral ankle ligaments. Its origin comes from the posterior border of the fibula, and it inserts into the posterolateral tubercle of the talus. And the calcaneofibular ligament. Its origin comes from the anterior border of the fibula, about one centimeter proximal to the distal tip. It then inserts into the calcaneus distal to the subtalar joint and deep to the perineal tendon sheath. The lateral ligaments are the most commonly injured ligaments in the ankle. And finally, the ligaments of the syndesmosis. The syndesmosis is made up of the anterior inferior tibiofibular ligament, the interosseous ligament, and the posterior inferior tibiofibular ligament. Here is a cross-section of the syndesmosis. The connection of the tibia and fibula is called the syndesmosis. An ankle injury common to athletes is an ankle syndesmosis injury, otherwise known as a high ankle sprain. It is referred to as a high ankle sprain because it involves the ligaments above the ankle joint. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.